Active Member 360 Password. We're going to show you how to automatically send your user an email with login details. So let's dive right in. What you'll want to do is create an automation that sends out a password. And it's simply an email goes out with a link to the site and their email and the password. So a couple things to note. Active Member 360 will automatically generate if there isn't already a field called password in Active Campaign. You don't have to do anything. It will automatically update that to a password if you don't do anything. Now, with that said, how do you trigger this automation? There's a couple ways to do it. And typically, I like to do it straight from, for instance, a shopping cart. So for instance, if I'm in Thrivecart, whenever somebody makes a purchase, and I go to the behavior section of that product, I click on add a rule. When your customer purchases the main product, use Active Campaign, add them to an automation, and then select the automation. You could apply a tag, and then that tag could fire off the automation. I like to go direct. So however you want to get somebody into the automation is appropriate. Here's another way. I'm not a super fan of this one. Um, in my opinion, things could go wrong. You could always use field changes and go to continue. And whenever the password field changes and you want to leave it to ever, not to two, you want to leave it to ever. And you want to, in my opinion, run it the first time. If you let it run multiple times, Every time a change is made to the password, they're going to get put into this automation. You could, of course, have rules that say only go through it once um, or a tag that throws them out of there. But my recommendation, if you do use this, is password changes to ever the first time added or updated. And then you can click on it and add a start. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, and the next thing you, you're going to do is simply send the email. But there's a couple things I'd recommend before this. And this is going to save you a little bit of a headache um, because sometimes that password field doesn't get updated right away. So one thing I like to do is simply put in a wait. Give it a few minutes so that there's not a race condition between sending out the email. And the minimum you can set is five minutes. So go ahead and set that for five minutes. Now, here's the biggie. I would recommend putting in a goal that says password not empty and then click to add the goal we're going to go here custom fields password and then this is what you need to do greater than set that to greater than and leave this blank so anytime the password is greater than empty you can meet this goal requirement Go ahead and save that and then even more important is simply change this to wait until conditions are met so what this will do is if somebody gets put into here the password set they'll automatically jump they won't have to wait five minutes and then they're going to get the email that has their login details otherwise they're going to sit here and wait for five minutes if they still don't have a password after that they're going to sit right here so if somebody notifies you that they're they haven't received their login information come into this automation check here see if they're in here um, and then what you want to do is simply go back to their contact record and put a password in there and everything should move along um, and then here this is the easy part simply send them an email and your email just needs to be something simple like this where it has the actual link and you're going to want to put in the custom field right here where are you and that's it so you have a contact coming here one way to do it is simply the password field changes i recommend doing that once Alternatively, you can put them in directly, hopefully from your shopping cart. Wait a few minutes. This is just to make sure there's not a race condition between Active Member 360 updating their password and this automation going. Um, and then this is the kind of the key thing is have a goal in here that checks to make sure the password field is not empty. If it is empty, sit there and don't send the email. It kind of looks silly if you send out an email with login details but no password. So that's how you automatically send an email to your user with their login details.